Hello there, Internet Dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we have a doozy for you. We have a, uh, is that how you say it? Doozy? We have a good video for you today, guys. Um, so I decided I'll look on the Discord. Lo and behold, a lot of you have recommended me the new Urban Spooks video, which I am going to watch today. However, I need to 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 prepare myself for what I'm going to watch. So I'm going to I'm, I'm going to put two more videos in there. So we're going to start off with Valox, who does a lot of FNAF content. And this was sent in by Valox on my Discord. It's called The Mystery of Charlotte Emily. So I just want a nice starter, you know, something to get me into the video. Then we'll get into the meat and potatoes. OK, and then we've got a little aftertaster just to kind of, you know, wash the horrible taste out of our mouths afterwards, because we know that Urban Spook is probably going to leave a bad taste there. Let's be honest. Thank you for sending in the videos today, guys. I will call it out as I go along. But a lot of you actually recommended this um, Urban Spooks video. So, you know, if I don't mention your name, I do apologize. But I do thank you for submitting your videos. If you haven't joined my Discord already, guys, join it down below. If you submit me something scary and I react to it, I will give you a shout out. But it's moments like this where loads of people submit the same thing that it's hard to kind of shout everyone out. You know what I mean? So we're going to start off with The Mystery of Charlotte Emily by Valox. Let's read the description. Recorded 12th, 22, 1983. Tragically, daughter of Henry Emily, the founder of Fred Bear's Family Diner and the all-new Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place, was murdered late last night. 11-year-old Charlotte Emily had been outside the restaurant before she was found bleeding out and deceased with the diner's puppet animatronic laying across her. Her death has remained a mystery and police are unable to find much evidence to go off of, leaving many unanswered questions. I am currently uncertain whether or not I can keep the restaurant up and running. My wife and I are destroyed. The first thought is keeping the restaurant alive. Come on, Henry, you're not the psychopath here, okay? Your business partner is. This tape was from the first location. Henry seems to be recording his la last night visiting Fred Bear's before it was shut down. The tape seems to have been tampered with, showing removed security fo footage unveiling the killer to be my father. I have no clue whether Henry eventually rewatched this footage before his disappearance in the 90s. Okay, so he disappeared. Right, here we go then, guys. The mystery of Charlotte Emily. Let's jump into this. The following video contains material that may be harmful or traumatizing. Okay, well, this was meant to be the starter, okay? This was meant to be not as dark as the next one. Imagine I've gone and picked something even worse than the second video. We'll see. This diner is literally in the middle of nowhere. I it's like a shame it, to see this place closed down, especially considering this is where it all started. This is where it all started. All of our hard work. Five years down the drain because William couldn't look after his own damn kids. Wait, what? What do you mean he couldn't look after his kids? Why are the lights on? Your electricity bill is going to be huge. He has me to thank for sorting up that pizza machine. Else we'd both be screwed right about now. Huh. Okay. Look at those boys, man. Look, Fredbear's sent better days. I've got some final forms to fill out. And then that's it. So hang on, is this the... Family. What this is... So his daughter's dead right now. Or not. The diner will unfortunately become a thing of the past. He's very nonchalant. They're gonna cut the power any second now. Oh, okay, interesting. I wish Will could at least been here to say goodbye to this whole place. So he doesn't know. He doesn't know right now. Go on, turn it on. One last show from the boys. Oh, never mind. He's gonna okay. Look at them, Three, boys. Two, one. Good uh, timing, dude. Well, that's it. Regardless of how successful Freddy's might have been, this place will always feel like home. Mm hmm. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Jesus, what was that? What was that? My god. I look like what that that was like Okay, let me get this straight. So Henry's daughter's dead and that's Henry talking over the camera, right? But he's more 
concerned like he's he seems to be more annoyed at the fact that william isn't around to say goodbye and that he couldn't keep the kids in line rather than his daughter dying outside of the establishment or am i getting this all wrong Does Henry not know? Obviously he doesn't. Okay. Where he hid what? Oh, interesting. Yeah, he's scared of you. Maybe you shouldn't be like, just like, hey! Maybe, you know, you should just, hey, oh, by the way, it's your daughter over here, hello. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm inside this puppet costume. Go check out the back room, okay, and check that tape out. There's different ways of going about this. Charlotte. Scaring the shit out of your dad. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, God. Hang on. Is this going to show the... Who's that? Oh, it's the kid. Oh, so it's believed that in Pizzeria Simulator, the game where you're driving that car, you're speeding back from the first kill and you're like drunk driving or like William. That's that's meant to show William. What, no one was around at this time? Did, did Henry... My God, you see how he swap? God damn! <laughs> <laughs> My man went like this. He fucking wound that thing up like Popeye. <laughs> Just let loose. <laughs> Good lord. That is brutal, man. God damn, he swung at her like he was swinging for a home run. You trying to knock it out the park there. After another incident at the diner, Fred Bears was forced to close down while the new pizzeria chain was allowed to continue into the grounds that the company hired security. There was no security? Well, I guess, mm, yeah. You wouldn't think to hire security at a kid's place. Well, you kind of would, actually. <laughs> Good lord. Ew. <laughs> Listen, Charlotte, I don't know why you're trying to sing there. Some auto tune on the go. Can we get much higher? Oh, I don't want to know what this is. Okay. Right, let me just see what this says. I know you're watching this. I knew you would remember and that you would return, but know that I'm still here. I don't hate you, but I will make sure you get what you deserve. <laughs> William. The mystery of Charlotte Emily. Very confused. Um, so that was, this video was based after she died. But Henry just seems to be more kind of consider, concerned about the, the restaurant closing down. Oh God, yeah, fuck that bitch. You know, I just want I, my restaurant. If it weren't for her, we could have stayed open. It, it comes across like that, you know what I mean? There we go, guys. That was Valox. That was a really good video, actually. Very dark. My God. William was swinging for the fences there. But yeah, go and subscribe to Valox, guys. Go show your support. This was really, really good. Deserves a lot more recognition for sure. There we go. We're going to move on to the meat and potatoes, guys. Urban spook, analog horror meat now this was recommended by a few people let me go down this list mr alcon 13 isolate director briar rose sde 
and I think that is that it. Yeah, there we go. That that's all the people that recommended this to me. The, it is on slow mode as well, guys. Bear in mind. So, and it, you you are recommended by my mods to not keep posting the same thing because it can just clog up the feed and like I don't know, it just makes it look messy and yeah, all that all that jazz. But yeah, this is the new urban spook and it's called Analog Horror Me. Apparently, I've been given warning saying uh, this one is crazy. Let's let's just jump into this. Here we go. This video contains extremely graphic and disturbing content you know this over the past week the number of brutal murders has continued to rise okay when dr fred baker failed to appear for work the police conducted a wellness check only to discover him murdered in his own home according to neighbors a dog could be heard barking from inside the house the night before the discovery of fred's body oh no Fred was known to live alone with his cat. He never had a dog. Oh God, where's this going? Oh, meat. He fed, he fed him to a dog. Oh no. As the police entered Fred's house through the breached back door, they were met with a disturbing scene. Evidence of a struggle was discovered in the kitchen. Here, the police would also find a copious amount of sildenafil. Is this what I think it is? It's Viagra. Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. I don't, I don't want to know where this is going. Okay. If it is believed that Fred had, had been stealing medication from his workplace for quite some time. What, Viagra? Jesus. Get help. Fred was lying in his bed with no skin on his head. bedroom floor was littered with used sandpaper okay right where we i see where this is going neither the cat nor any signs of a dog could be detected however a gruesome painting was found hidden under the bed so do they paint before killing they must do right there's a painter then there's the killer there's two killers the graphic painting seems to depict Fred's cat. This is the painting in its foreboding title. Oh, God. Pocket Pussy. I'm not even going to I'm gonna try and dissect that. I'm just going to leave that. Two days later, the body of George White was found in his family house. Again, the neighbors reported hearing barking on the night of the attack. The extent of damage to the body made post-mortem identification nearly... Okay. The extent of damage to the body made post-mortem identification nearly impossible. 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 Oh, God. Where did he touch you? Show me on the... Never mind, don't. Similar to other recent murders, George's face had been cut off. Okay, so can you hear that breathing? So this is like Leatherface. The killer's like Leatherface. It takes faces from people. He had approximately 487 stab wounds across his whole body. Well, that just puts Detroit become human to shame right there, doesn't it? 487 is just... You get bored after a while, wouldn't you? You've got to be really committed. What What's happening? What's this? Four of the wounds contain traces of seminal fluid. God. Why? During autopsy, several photographs were found inside the body of George White. Several? You know, you notice how there's two sets of breathing now. There's one and there's the other because there's two killers. One of the photos was found tucked inside the hat. Yuck. The second was discovered within the intestines. The last photo was found crumpled up inside the pelvis. Good lord. Despite the extensive damage to the photos, police were able to successfully restore them. Here are the photos. I don't want to know. I don't!
Oh my god. <laughs> Dude looks like SpongeBob if it was real. <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck is that? Okay, that's obviously one of the killers wearing... That's like Scream, right? Scream. That's, look, the Scream face. But it's obviously someone wearing... No, I don't know. If you know any of these people, yeah, I don't... SpongeBob SquarePants. He lives on a pineapple under the sea. Last night, police dispatched Sarah Stone and her husband, Michael, were abducted from their residence. The building's basement hatch had been destroyed from the inside, though the entry had been through the front door. Oh. Fortunately, Sarah had a security camera installed at her front porch. Oh god, okay, interesting. We can actually see a video? The camera footage captures the murderers entering the house of Sarah and Michael Stone, ultimately providing the most damning evidence yet. What you are about to witness is a glimpse of the most violent killers in American history. Oh, good lord. This is what was on the security camera. See, I love, what I love about Urban Spooks, I know there's a lot of controversy around the, you know, the, the themes of what they do. But what I love is the build-up. The build-up is, like, really good. I, I, I enjoy the build-up. Just like a ring doorbell. Is it going to be like actual, is it going to be like CCTV as in like static? Oh, here we go. Oh my God, that person's in better days. Ah! Oh my God. Don't jump up. Don't you dare. I will. Get the door. Oh, you can hear him. The door. The door's just open? Oh my god, this is brutal. Oh, to think what happens afterwards, man, is crazy. Well, there we go, guys. That was that was the analog horror meet where we actually see the painter killers has been released on video. It's not like they care at all. One of them just seems to be like a demon completely. Hang on. This one here. So this one's probably wearing like the, f the skin of someone else on their face. This one just looks like they need, they need some sun on their face or something. Some vitamin D. But there we go, guys. That was analog horror meat. Keep up the great work, Urban Spook. You're fantastic at just completely raising the limits of what is possible for just this whatever genre of horror this is we're gonna react to a video by uh that was sent in by retired meme lord school on my discord it's return to render and it's called the backrooms level fun it usually return to render does some pretty funny videos so this is a nice little kind of let's send you away with some happy thoughts okay you watch it be the worst thing i've ever shown hey Someone help me please no take this <laughs> Body cam. Over here. Is there something in? Oh, it's a party goer. That yeah, you can see the balloons. That run. Ah! Oh my god. How no? Please just be nice. Please be funny. Don't be horrific. You're doing great. Uh -oh. Hey, don't let them out of your sight. They're fast. Oh. 
Well, you're screwed. It looks like Groot. Oh, that looks fun as hell. Dangerous, but fun as hell. No, wait. Oh god, just keep running, bro. Uh, come on, I thought. Ah, uh, still that was good. That was part one though. So there's probably like more to that. I should have probably waited until more was released. But you know what? It's still good. I still like Return to Render. So there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you do not get nightmares. To be fair, the second one wasn't as bad as the, some of the previous videos that Urban Spook has done. So, you know, I think I think we're all good. Unless I'm just becoming desensitized to this stuff, which is terrifying to think about. That's the video, guys. Be sure to go subscribe to all the creators. They will be linked in the order that I watch them down below. Go watch the videos for yourself. Go like the videos, subscribe, support them as much as you can. And if you enjoyed my reaction, why not do the same? Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.